Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Fantastic Five. In this incontrovertible episode, we are counting down the top five best female supervillains in comics. The idea of the supervillain has been around for nearly as long as the superhero itself, and the femme fatale is a trope that long precedes it. It's only natural that the two would be combined in the form of powerful women opposing our heroes. Ranging from sleek seductresses to swole powerhouses, everything in between, and sometimes both at once. Before we get to our main list, here are a couple of serious contenders that didn't quite make the list. Mad Dog Mask, Master Strategist and Criminal Mastermind, Granny Goodness and the Female Furies, the most fearsome force on Apocalypse, Giganta, colossal strongwoman who used to be a gorilla, Lady Deathstrike, mercenary assassin with adamantium claws, and Morgan Le Fay, a character so classic that Marvel and DC each have their own version of her. Now on to the main list. Number 5, Cheetah. Cheetah makes the list if only by virtue of being the most prominent villain of the most prominent female superhero. But fortunately, there's more to her than that. First appearing in 1943's Wonder Woman number 6, the Cheetah has undergone many changes in her 70 plus years of history, with three different women bearing the mantle. But whether she's socialite with a split personality Priscilla Rich, environmental activist and debutante Deborah Domain, or cat-powered archaeologist Barbara Minerva, the Cheetah has been a constant thorn in Wonder Woman's side. Number 4, Enchantress. The Marvel Enchantress, that is. No offense to June Moore. This Enchantress is Amora of Asgard, who first appeared in 1964's Journey into Mystery No. 103 by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, giving her basically the most legit pedigree a character can hope for. Enchantress has served primarily as a Thor villain, trying to seduce him away from Jane Foster and manipulating her minion Scourge the Executioner into battling him. But as a co-founder of the Masters of Evil, she has wreaked havoc for the Avengers as well. With powerful magical and illusory powers, Enchantress can always be counted on to be up to some mystical shenanigans. Number 3, Star Sapphire. While there have been many women to bear the name of Star Sapphire, the best known is the version that first appeared in 1962's Green Lantern number 16. This version of the character was under the control of the otherworldly Xamarons, who intended to use her as a tool against the Green Lantern to prove that women are superior to men. The twist? Star Sapphire was secretly Carol Ferris, love interest and boss of the Green Lantern Hal Jordan, unaware of her criminal persona. Since then, various other women have worn the power gem of the Xamarons, and now, the Star Sapphires have been expanded to a core of their own to match the Green Lanterns, powered by the emotion of love. Number 2, Mystique. Raven Darkholm first appeared in 1978's Miss Marvel number 16, but it didn't take long before she was making trouble for the X-Men. With a morality as fluid as her physical form, Mystique has played both sides of the hero-villain fence for as long as she's been around. As a member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, the government-sponsored Freedom Force, X-Factor, and the X-Men themselves. Additionally, as the biological mother of Nightcrawler and the adoptive mother of Rogue, Mystique's allegiances are impossible to nail down at any given time. And number one, Batman's Femme Fatales. Yeah, I know, it's a huge surprise. Batman has the best villains. I could see you guys sweating, counting down, realizing there wasn't enough room for all of your favorite lady bat villains, already drafting up your incinerating comment calling for my death. Well, I cheated. I put all of them together so they wouldn't dominate this list. Certainly the best female villain there is is one of the earliest, Catwoman. A nuanced character with many facets that see her motivations shifting as it pleases her, just like a real cat. Catwoman has been the most prominent female villain since 1940 for a reason. Past that, you've got Poison Ivy, who doesn't appear until 1966 Batman number 181, but who still makes for herself a permanent place in Batman's rogues gallery with her ecologically fueled obsession that manages to be almost sympathetic at times. Then you've got Talia al Ghul, daughter of the demon, who has been Batman's lover and mother of his child, but, oh yeah, also the head of an international criminal organization that nearly managed to kill Batman and take over the world. There also seems to be this one clown-themed one who I don't recognize, but a quick Alta Vista search seems to indicate she's quite popular. I'll take their word for it. That's it for this week. Come back next week for five more things, or maybe as many as 15 if I cheat again, which I probably will. Thanks for watching this episode of Fantastic Fives. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comics Alliance for more comic facts, and check out ComicsAlliance.com for more comic awesomeness.